everybody. So, we already ate. I'm laying on the couch. And y'all, I want to show y'all my grades. I got my grades. So, let's see what they look like. See that? Hmm? Bam. Yeah, you see that? You see that? <laughs> One of my friends is pregnant and she had to cancel her baby shower y'all know because of everything that's going on and stuff so she decided that she was gonna do a drive-by baby shower i don't know how that works but let me show y'all what i got her well i bought some stuff off of her registry that that mailed out to her directly but since you know i'm showing my face at this drive through thing i don't want to just drive through and be like bump bump hey girl congratulations you know I, I wanted to actually have something to give so i went to i went to barnes and nobles and i got her two books i got this one book right here this is a book called i promise and i read it while i was in barnes and noble i was like this is kind of good you know i like this i like the message that is given or whatever and it has it has like black black kids in it black kids in it so I like the, the illustrations in it and stuff, so I got her that. And she told me that she's naming her baby Liam. So I got this book right here that says Night Night Liam. And it's just like a personalized book that has his name in it. And I just thought that that was really cute. So I got these two and I'm gonna wrap it up when I, when I get in the house. So I have something to give. So I'm just not driving through beep beep, hey, you know, so. I have that, so I'm about to go in the house really quick and attempt to wrap this up. like I said to y'all before I didn't want to just drive by and wave I wanted to actually have something because it's a baby shower so I have my gift right here Bam. this has this has looks I tore it a little bit damn I'm trying to show y'all how to tore it but it's okay it's okay I'm pretty sure anybody that picks it up knows that it's a book every time I close my eyes I wake up feeling so horny I can get you out of my mind because I didn't went and drop that gift off and everything and I forgot to vlog because I was using my GPS on my phone but it was like that quick by the time I thought about it I had already left because 
once I pulled up, somebody walked up to my car, gave me my little cupcake right here, my little cupcake and my water, and I handed them the gift, and that was that was it. Like it went like that, that fast. But my bad, y'all. I'll see y'all when I get back home. Peace. Okay, I'm back at home. I don't remember what the last clip was, but let me tell y'all what what didn't happen, what has transpired. So. I was sitting in the chair on TikTok like I normally do, you know, just minding my business, you know, time wasting. And I get up and I have like this, I, I don't want to call it a sharp pain. What's what's between sharp and dull, Steve? Pain. There was this pain. <laughs> there was this pain, ow. There was this pain in like my abdomen. And I was like, ow. What is that? Like, ow. And it was still hurting. I was like, ow. So I was like rubbing right there. Like, why does this hurt right here? And then something told me to go look in the mirror. And when I looked in the mirror, it was a bruise right there. And I don't know where this bruise came from. It's weird. So I called my mom and my mama told me that we need to make a circle around it so we can know if it got bigger. So... That's why I'm in the room, I'm on the bed, and Steve got the Sharpie. And I hope this doesn't break me out, Steve. Is this non-toxic? Mm -hmm. Where are the markers? We had some markers. Mm -hmm. Do you not care? Yes. Uh, give me one second to read something. What you reading? Nine. You on WebMD? No. You on Google? Yes. While he's on Google, I'm about to try to find some regular markers because I don't want this shit on my skin. Cough. <coughs> Do it hurt when you cough? Not really. It hurt when I laugh. So what did it say about coughing, Steve? Oh, I was looking to see if it was your appendix. Let me get up and try to cough again. Let me stand up and cough. Did no. Cough. What, it wasn't a cough. What do I got to do? What's a cough? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit just a little bit but it hurts more when i laugh i was looking to see uh, what side of your body the appendix was on uh signs of signs and symptoms of appendicitis may include sudden pain that begins on the right side of your lower abdomen sudden pain that begins around your navel and often shifts to your lower right abdomen pain that worsens if you cough walk or make jarring movements That didn't hurt. Yeah, cool. You probably good. I'm still gonna try to start on your They can't see that. They can't see that. Can't y'all see that? Hey y'all showing y'all my fat belly. Right in here. Yeah, right there. You have shit. Do I have to shit? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure in appendicitis. That that can be caused by a blockage. So Steve, what we finna do? Try that on your belly. But but can you, you you need to be googling? Can you put Sharpie on skin? On the website thoughtgo.com, they say Sharpie fine point markers are the safest pens to use on skin. Even with these pens, it's a good idea to Let avoid writing on the lips or near the eyes. Let me see that. King size Sharpie, Magnum Sharpie, and Touch Up Sharpie contain xylene, which is neurotoxic and may damage other organs. What she say about being toxic and damaged organs? No, we finna no, 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 no Steve, listen, no, Steve, come back, come no. Back. We finna find these damn right. markers. You not finna put that shit on me. What? What? Which kind was it? Can we use an eyeliner? We got some. We got some regular. We got some regular Crayola markers right. in here, Steve. Come here. What? I'm not being scary. I just don't. Okay, Google. Can you use Sharpie on skin? On the website thoughtgo.com, they say Sharpie fine point markers are the safest right. pens to use on skin. I want you to, you heard that, right? I want you to look and see what this one is. The safe one. Come on. <laughs> you just want to do this shit. I want to record you drawing because I want to make sure you're doing this right. Really?
It might be gays. The <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, let me stop. You want a smiley face in here? I can put a smiley face in here. No, don't. Put S. No, see, stop. Just draw the circle. You're doing too much. All right. Now what we're going to do is put the wrap on here. I need you to leave that on and put your, uh, your ointment on there once a day. Oh, shit. <laughs> put your ointment on here once a day. See, when you turn to a doctor. No, I'm not a doctor. I'm a tattoo artist. You see my uh, keloid. All right, let me touch this one up too for you. Touch what up? What you doing? Hmm? With my keloid? Yeah, I'm touch it up. No, stop. That's why I be scared about putting stuff on my skin because that happened when I had my belly button pierced. That ain't got nothing to do with putting something on your skin. Well, I'm just saying. You good to go. What, what, what did you put on there? Number two? No. I was trying to put an S on there, but you told me stop. But I did anyway. It might be gas. Gas make you bruise? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Good morning. Here is breakfast. Right here. Uh, bacon. Eggs, sausage, biscuits, you know what it is. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing okay, I guess. So, I'm really in my feelings right now. Like I was telling y'all uh, about my abdomen hurting. So, the redness went away from right there, but it's still tender right there. So, it, it's still sore right there. And I don't know what it is and... I'm the type of person that if something's hurting on me or something is different or it doesn't feel right, I'm going to the doctor, right? I don't even know if I wanna talk about this or not, but. So I have health insurance, but my health insurance is trash, okay? So um, I avoid going to the doctor at all costs because the last time that I went to the doctor, uh, to get a physical was in 2017 and when I tell y'all I kept getting two three hundred dollar bills left and right and I'm like dude what the hell is going on like why do I keep getting all of these bills in the mail and I found out that my insurance is fucking trash and I have to pay everything out of pocket and it just it pisses me off because I pay out of my paycheck every you know, out of each paycheck just for me to have to pay out of pocket when I go to the doctor. So I avoid sick people at all costs, especially like with this COVID-19 thing going on. I try to stay my ass at home because if I get sick, I cannot afford to go to the doctor. I cannot afford to go to the ER. I cannot afford to be hospitalized. Like I cannot afford that. I don't know. My job is, my job is trash. The insurance is trash. So, I guess I need to start cleaning up because this house is a mess.
Okay, hey y'all. So, I've been cleaning up, as y'all seen, and y'all, Steve wants greens again. Okay, so, I have my pot of neck bones here just boiling on the stove, and so, I'm about to add my greens in there. And I don't have a problem with making greens like in the middle of the week like this because I started buying the bagged greens that's already picked and cut because uh, well, I'm still going to wash them myself. But y'all, I hate picking greens. I hate it. I hate it. I forgot. They sell these. And I was like, this is like the best thing because I ain't got to pick them. But uh, I'm still gonna wash them. It says on here that they're triple washed. Well, they're gonna be quadruple washed because I'm, I'm about to wash them again. Well, I'm making greens and cornbread and Steve wants to make catfish. But I'm about to go ahead and wash these greens. I'm gonna make the cornbread. And I didn't even tell y'all last time that I had made that cornbread. Let me show y'all. This, this, it's the truth. This was so good. about to eat a toaster strudel and I burnt it. Oh, it ain't burnt that bad. I forgot it was in a toaster. I'm on my lunch and I just wanted to show something right here. Steve over here doing laundry. Yeah. Really? Steve over there doing laundry. Why is yours anyway? Good. And I just I just cleaned up. It's like the laundry is never ending around here. We got too many clothes. We need to give away we need to give away a lot of stuff, like for real. Because I just folded all the stuff that was sitting on the on the couch and here we go more laundry on the couch it's never ending around here i swear but, <laughs> and he's gonna start another load like oh my goodness see we gotta fold this tonight oh yeah we gotta yeah. fold this tonight it's, because it's if house. not it's gonna sit on the couch forever it's just house, bro. cool but i got on here to show y'all this Remember this candle that I did a, a review on? It's just candles. Well, today I decided that I wanted to go ahead and burn it. And then look. I don't know. Y'all see that? Like, hold on. That's the flame. It burn that is not what I was expecting with a, with how good the candle look and all that the week is trash okay it's trash and so it's been burning like that for maybe like two hours and i don't know if that's how it's supposed to be i don't smell anything i smell the candle like when it wasn't burnt but like now that it's burning i don't really smell anything it's weird but i got this other other candle right here this one is from uh locksandchucks.com it has a strong smell to it so hopefully this one has a flame because the other one does not i guess i should have did this in my review next time i know to to burn the candle in my review but let me show y'all this one it has a nice little flame compared to this i don't know what that is but 
but this is a flame. Hello everybody, I'm off work. It's 11.40 at night and we are about to eat. We always eat this late. Uh, we're not normal people. We eat like around 12, sometimes one in the morning, just depends. And Steve, I wish I was vlogging just a minute ago. He had his head in the freezer. Steve, what's wrong? <laughs> You got a headache? Oh. He ain't got no damn headache. His head itching. <laughs> and he stuck his head in the freezer. What ain't no wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Hey, let me tell y'all something. And I remember exactly when this happened. Back when I used to get my quick weaves. And we had went to San Diego and I was beating my head that whole vlog. You can go and watch that vlog. I was beating my head that entire vlog because drum roll, please. That uh <laughs> shut up. That quick weave. It's actually it, a hell of a it, it itches so bad. It wasn't up until Steve got hair because anytime I used to beat my head, Steve would be like, Baby, stop doing it. Stop doing it. It can't itch that bad. Stop doing it. Now that, that Steve shit. Now that Steve got hair, he be over there beating his head all the time. I do it on such time. So why did you put why did you put the, the uh, thing on your head? I had a headache. You had a headache. Yeah, it's going now. what you doing now? Oh my <laughs> Oh, and then let me tell y'all, I always told Steve to do a deep condition on his head. I've always told Steve that he may need to do a hot oil treatment on his head, but Steve don't listen to me because he seemed to think that dudes have different hair from girls. No. And no, no, that is what you think because I know you got on YouTube and you was listening to a dude talk about hair, was you? See? I could slap the shit out of you right now. <laughs> First of all, time out, stop. No, because you, you seem to think that girls and dudes have two different types of hair yeah. like we'd be washing his hair and i and i'd be uh um, i'd be like oh see your curls popping yeah i got naturally curly hair no you just black <laughs> you no, just black all no, black people listen, have curly listen, hair i apologize to you because you worked hard to braid my hair i thank you very much i'm gonna take these braids down and let my hair relax for a night oh i learned another thing too Last week when I was going around here without my hair, like it was just out and shit. That caused like breakage and shit because my shit was extra dry. Like, that's why my hair ain't really much I wanted to. So I'm drinking a whole bunch of water. All it takes is for some other dude to say it for him to start listening. But anyway, we about to eat. Uh, we have leftovers from yesterday and Steve just made some more fish. So we have fish, we got macaroni and cheese. Greens and cornbread. Oh, oh. <laughs> Steve, what you doing over there? My, my cat, huh? <laughs> what you doing? What, what you over there doing? He was over there patting his head. We about to eat. This food was good last night too. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get on here and vlog what we was eating, but I was hungry. Pat your weed. Pat, pat, pat your. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I have my greens in here. Mac and cheese over there, fish, cornbread, and the rest of the fish right there. Steven, he ain't put his fish on thing, but yeah, that's what we about to eat.